Hi guys, this is Bob Joel Mwagara and in this tutorial we're going to learn on how to work with PHP uh, programming using PHP actually PHP is like is still a very good language though many people think it's dead but actually most of the systems most of the web systems they're seeing online are written in PHP actually I think around 78.9 percent of the systems you see online is written in, G in PHP so uh, basically today I want you to learn PHP because it's one of the most and one of the most and it's uh, most commonly used language and actually it's one of the simplest language so basically before we do anything you need to know on what you, you need uh, you need a text editor for example, Sublime, Sublime Text. You download. You can use Sublime Text. You can use uh, Notepad Plus Plus, Notepad Plus Plus. So you need to download any of those and install it on your computer. You also need. Uh, you or you'll need you'll need of course a, a server where you'll be hosting all the systems that you're creating. So you'll need. Uh, you'll need maybe you'll need okay uh, you'll need a local host a local server uh, so for that we shall use uh, zap an open source tool made by the apache friends apache friends so in this tutorial actually you guys are going to also learn how to install those tools with zap zap will help us it will give us like tools like php uh, it will enable us to use PHP, it will enable us to use MySQLi, and it also adds some other tools that we can use. It will provide us with PHP My Admin, so we shall be able to access uh, the database, our MySQL database, and do all the things we want. We shall be able to connect to the database and do all that. So today I'll show you on how to download ZAMP and maybe Notepad Plus Plus. So for ZAMP, uh, downloading ZAMP is actually very simple. You just, since it's an open source software, you just put ZAMP, download, yeah, you just go to Google, then type ZAMP, then click ZAMP installer from the Apache Friends.org website. So when you click this, you give it some time, then you just click on download. In case you want to download for Linux, in case you want to download for uh, for Mac, but I, in case you want to download for Windows, you just click here. So for today, I'm using Windows, though some of my tutorials will be using Ubuntu. So I also install it on my Ubuntu computer. Yeah. So you click on this stamp, and everything will be done for you after just selecting the stamp. Uh, after downloading. When you click on this stamp download, it will uh, prompt you where you click save file to save the file. After saving the file, you'll find the saved file via download. So after finding the saved file via download, you'll discover that uh, you'll find the setup, the installer actually. You right click, you double tap on it, double clicking, then you give it some time, yeah then you'll select yes. So after selecting yes, you wait for the installer to load.
So it has brought this error. It seems you have an antivirus running. In some cases, this may. You want to continue the installation? Of course, I'll say yes. Then I'll. Yeah, this is also because of an activated user control on your system. Some functions are may are. Okay, I'll say okay. Then I'll click next. So they'll bring the different tools they're going to install. They're installing Apache MySQL, FileZilla, Mature, Tomcat, PHP, File, PHP MyAdmin. All these are some of the things they're going to be installing. So I'll click next. So it's going to install itself on this partition local disk C in a folder called ZAMP. That's why it, this is it's actually its directory. So I click next. The language it wants to be installed in, that's English. Then next. The rest is just keep on pressing next and we'll give it some time. So it's installing actually, it's unpacking some files and doing all the installations. So we give it a few minutes. So uh, it's actually unpacking files. It's now unpacking files. Uh, it will prompt us like it wants to use. Allow Apache server to communicate on these networks, yeah. So we shall allow it to communicate. Give it some time. It's actually installing. Yeah, now that we're done. Oh, we shall just click finish. So we're done with installing our ZAMP. Oh, so we shall also download. Uh, we shall download. We shall download. Uh, we shall download a uh, text editor. And I'm going to download a uh, text editor from Sublime Text. Uh, which is www.sublimetext.com slash 2 and basically I'll download a Windows 64 bit because like it's my thing I have a Windows, 60, Windows 64 bit operating system after downloading it yeah you'll discover that now I have it already installed after clicking save, uh, save file I have it already downloaded actually not installed so installing it is kind of very simple you just double tap on it and install it so uh, basically starting our text editor the one that we've downloaded sublime text we just open the sublime text to uh, yeah give it some time now like since we've opened our sublime text uh, we shall check on our zamp again then we shall start apache then we shall also start my sql yeah now since all the ports are already running now we shall come back to our text editor now the good thing with zamp uh we can configure a lot of things and actually we can even make these ports to auto start themselves and actually what you guys should also learn is uh, when like after installing this ZAMP after installing this ZAMP uh, we shall always be saving our 
files in some folder on local disk C in the ZAMP folder then we open a folder called htdocs in htdocs that's where we shall always put our projects so I'm going to create a folder and call it project1 project1 Well, okay. I call it project one. So inside this folder is where I'm going to save all my files. So and the extension of the files that we're going to be saving is a dot PHP. All files that we save must end with a dot PHP. So I'll save my first file as index.php in my folder in ZAMP, HDOCs, then project one. So I'll go to local disk C, open ZAMP. Uh, okay, uh, you, you press control plus uh, control and S or you press file, then you tap save as then you select local disk C where I installed my ZAMP, ZAMP then I select htdocs uh, then remember the folder is project1 I click on it then I say open yeah. so it has put this thing here but now this time uh, I want to open my I want okay I want to open my this folder via my sublime text so I'll click file then I'll open open folder then I'll select local disk C I select ZAMP I select htdocs then I select the folder name project one then okay yeah so I'll save this so I'm going to create my first File called uh, my first file. I'll call it index index.php. So I'll press. Uh, okay, I'll click on file. Then I'll click on save as. So now whatever I'm saving is under the folder called project one. So I'll save create my file index dot. PHP index of PHP PHP then you press enter so when you check our we can delete this this is actually not required uh, when you check our project one folder there is the file that we've created index of PHP so uh, this is how to write uh, your PHP. We shall be used. We shall be opening PHP. Then we close it. So in between, in between the where well, in between, in between where you like the PHP code, uh, we can always use these double slashes as commenting, single line commenting, like any other programming language. This is how we comment. Meaning, uh, this comment won't be uh, during the process of like ex executing the program that we've created. It won't be. They won't read the comment. So that's a single line comment. Then there is a multi line comment. And this is how they do the multi line comment. So, in between here, you can whatever you write here, whatever you type here, won't appear. Whatever you type 
here won't appear it works on multiple lines as long as it's in between this but this is a single line comment if so uh, basically this is how our php works so we're going to write our hello world in php and actually php is very interesting and very simple we can just type echo then we write hello world Then, and then you open your browser or uh, open a new tab then how to access my uh, the project I'm working on I just type local host slash the name of the project project folder it's project one so when I press enter when I press enter it will automatically read what's in the local host and it will bring back hello world so meaning this is our hello world written thank you very much uh, for following in case of any question in case of anything you can please comment you can ask your questions via comments uh, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos about this god bless you till we meet again